everything that we've already been saying the whole time. My name is Candace, and you're watching Candid with Candace. And here we are creating the next generation of voters through video. And I'm Candace Quarles, and I'm here to talk about why Beto O'Rourke is right. And there is nothing more American than taking a knee. So this video is in reaction to Beto O'Rourke. So he is a congressman in Texas running for U.S. Senate. Thank you each for your service. Um, my, my short answer is no. I don't think it's disrespectful. Here's my, my longer answer, but I'm going to try to... Try to make sure that I get this right, um, because I think it's a really important question. And reasonable people, reasonable people can disagree on this issue. Let's begin there. And it makes them no less American to come down on a different conclusion on this issue, right? Um, if you believe in liberty and justice and all of the freedoms that are promised by our Constitution for all of Americans, then it is perfectly in your right as a first amendment right to protest um, those things that america has promised for all of all of her citizens when an nfl player takes a knee you notice that that is the point of a protest so we can bring this full circle that people are still dying at the hands of police two and a half more times likely than their white counterparts and we need to bring that issue to light as a resident of this community, as someone who sits on the city council, I think it's imperative of us to make sure that we're doing everything to protect our residents. Uh, when you're talking about governments and police, they are created to protect and serve the people in that community. And I don't think the people of that community should ever feel, um, you know, that they can't trust the police system, the governmental entity that they pay into. Uh, so this is why I feel passionate about that topic. And I want to make sure that people understand everything that we've already been saying the whole time. But now that since Beto has said it, now you hear it. We are not protesting a song or the flag or uh, any of the traditions of the country. We are highlighting an issue that continually comes up in our community. I mean, anytime my husband says, you know, I want to go in, I'm going to go and get some gas later. I'm going to run to the grocery store. And uh, what if he gets pulled over? Uh, what if he gets pulled over by um, an officer that's had a bad day? And being a black man, what if he feels intimidated by him? Um, I fear that every time he leaves the house, uh, I pray over him that he comes home but this is happening so often that I just tell them, no, can you just wait? Those that are protesting, we only wanna bring uh, awareness to an issue. And for those that say we need to keep politics out of sports, uh, sports has been political since the beginning of time. It'll continue to be political as long as it has the platform and the viewership and the eyeballs that it does have. Uh, and understand we are trying to get a message across that what's happening now should not be the norm. And as black and brown Americans, we should not fear um, our law enforcement agency. They should be partners in our communities. Like this video, share this video. You're watching Candy with Candace and vote November 6th. Thank you.